equations and we can simplify them as we have done in the previous case number one so we are almost doing the same thing here to construct the normal equations so from the equation number one <coughs> if you simplify it uh, and I'm dropping the index we can write down the equations directly so on simplifying we'll be getting the equation sigma x whenever you take this quantity with this it gives you x i square uh, I can drop the now I can be dropped so sigma x y is equals to a time sigma x i and x i gives you x4 and uh, at the same time I'm shifting it on the right side so this quantity gives you plus b sigma x cube x and x square and from the third we get plus there will be uh, c times x square so this is the output after the simplification of the result number one oh, sorry there will be no zero because i have already shifted it to the right side okay now from the second equation the same kind of result can be written as sigma x y is equals to a sigma x cube b sigma x square and cx and uh, sorry there will be sigma is also there it should be sigma along with it sigma x square and c times sigma x and the uh, third equation gives you sigma y is equals to a sigma x square b sigma x and there will be a constant now so we have to take the number of terms so these are the three equations which we were looking for and these are now the normal equations for the case of the parabolic curves. So here we ultimately succeed in finding uh, the two set of normal equations for the case of the linear equation as well as for the case of the uh, parabolic equation. But there are certain other situations in which we can <clears throat> use these normal equations. Suppose I show you or give you another uh, situation where we can use these uh, how actually we can write down directly the normal equations <clears throat> okay so here we uh, if we are given a curve which is not linear and not the parabolic curve and this is suppose another kind of curve say y is equals to a e raised power bx and this is an exponential function and now we are interested in to construct the normal equations for this kind of curve or many of these kinds of curve this kind of curve so the principle the principle will be the same or the procedure will be the same you have already learned we can transform it into the linear form if we take the log on both sides so we can transform it very easily into the linear form by writing it is in the form of <coughs> sigma uh, log base e so this quantity gives you capital y this is your capital a and this constant and this constant gives you if i label them as b and small x there so this is your linear equation and we have already constructed the normal equations for the linear equation so we can use those equations directly to solve these or these kinds of problems so the idea should be clear okay, how we can use the normal equations in order to solve the various problems okay after knowing all these aspects of this particular method or principle of least care now the time to apply these techniques in order to solve the question so here i'm taking an example uh, for which I have to make use of these three equations so you have to memorize only these three equations those will be sufficient in order to solve the questions and similarly for the linear two cases so here we write down the statement of the question okay so here we uh, let me raise it first because it is harder to raise it no problem we can do it okay after doing this now we are writing the statement of the question the statement of the question is that you have provided a curve 
y is equals to ax square plus bx plus c. This is the same parabolic curve. And the set of points you have to use for this particular case are, of course, in the form of x and y, uh, 10, 12, 15, 23, and 20. And now the corresponding values of y are 14, 17, 23, 25, and 21. So these are the uh, uh, information provided in the question. And now we have to fit this curve through these points. And now you can see here, these three are unknown. We are looking for these three unknown. In order to find them out, we shall be writing the same normal equation we have constructed for the parabolic case. But here we are given our real situation in which a set of points are given. So we have to make use of these points as well. So in order to apply the normal equations, let me write down on the left side all these three equations we have constructed for the normal equation uh, for this parabolic case. So these were sigma x square y is equals to a sigma x square uh, 4, b sigma x cube and sigma, <coughs> sorry, c sigma x square. And the second equation is sigma xy, a sigma x cube, b sigma x square, and c sigma x. This was the second equation. And the third equation is sigma y, a sigma x square, b sigma x, and the last one n. And what is n here? And of course, the number of points. So here you can count these three of uh, five points there. So we can replace this n by five very easily. Okay, <clears throat> by keeping these equations in your mind, first of all, we have to gather the information of all these so that we can put these values into these. Now, in order to obtain them, we construct here a table. The so values of x and y are given. Then we take the square of x, cube of x, and x power 4, we also require cube square and x square. Then we also require, <coughs> excuse me, uh, x, y, the product of these two, and we also require x square y. So these are the different heads under which we have to place the values. And these are the values we are going to use them into your uh, normal set of equations. So x and y are uh, 10, 12, 15, 23, 20 and y is 14, 17, 23, 25 and 21. And now you have to uh, scare the values of x. Okay, this is the x column. You have to write the scale of all these values. 10 scale gives you 100, 144 and then 225 